Today we're going over the electric stud drive tool. Uh, it is electric over pneumatic. Uh, this tool, we've been using this form of tool for about 10 years now. What this tool is designed for is removing the studs out of the RPV head. Our pneumatic enclosure, which also has a gauge, gives us a reading of the pneumatics versus weight of the stud. On the left hand side, we have our uh, electrical enclosure. Uh, right in the center is our pneumatic cylinder, which raises and lowers the uh, stud have on the left hand side here is the uh, pneumatic compressor. On the right hand side we have the um, operator pendant. Above that we have our operator interface panel. Next to that is the on off switch and your reset and edit switch for the programming of the operator interface panel. Coming down into the center, we have our servo motor going into our gearbox, which goes into the driven gear assembly. Behind that, you'll see the pneumatic shaft. This is the, uh, the locking sleeve, which locks into the, it has a, on the bottom, which we'll show a little bit later, is the, the threaded lifting stud, which threads into your main RPV stud. Then we have our locking collar that locks down on top. And then we have our drive sleeve down below underneath the gear housing here. Here we have our operator control handles for moving it uh, from stud to stud and controlling the tool as you lower it down onto the stud and handling of the tool. Here we have our anti-rotation um, lugs. Okay. Keep it in place. So we're going to drop our pneumatic piston down with our gripper down into the um, down into the top of the stud, into the gearbox, and then we will lock the gripper into the stud. The gripper is locked into the, the drive and into the stud. Okay, first what we'll go ahead and do is we'll hit the reset button, reset all the programming. Okay, it's reinitializing the operator interface panel. From there, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to that same switch and go to edit. That now gives us the ability to set our depth and our torque. At this phase, we're gonna set our depth in inches. It can be done in inches, millimeters, whatever needs to be. Right now we're gonna set it for 2.5. Hit enter. It'll ask you the program depth, is, is it okay, yes or no? We're gonna hit yes. Editing is finished, it is now set at 2.5. That is going to be enough to remove the stud for us. Before we get started, we're going to set our, um, we're going to set our pneumatics to the weight of the stud, depending on the weight of the stud. There's pounds on the outside versus your pressure on the inside of the gauge. We know our stud is roughly between two to 300 pounds, so we're going to go ahead and bring it up. 
about 200. Roughly, roughly about 30 PSI. After we've set our operator interface panel for the proper depth, we're gonna unthread the stud. So we're gonna set it to auto unthread. Okay, we're going to use our torque level and we're gonna dial up the torque level and we should start to see the stud rotate. Now on the operator interface panel, it's giving your, the amperage and your depth. Once it gets to 2.5, it will stop. And then we'll lift the stud. Once the stud has been removed, they put it aside. We're gonna, this is reinstallation of the stud. It is now raised up. We're gonna lower it into the RPV housing. Okay. The stud is now set. What we're going to do we're going to manually unthread to find the lead thread of the stud. Once, it, once we see the gear housing drop a little, we know we found the lead thread. Nope. Nope. Just the clunk there. We have the lead thread. Now we're going to reset all. We're going to recheck our programming. We're gonna hit edit again. We're gonna check our depth. Depth in inches. To reinstall the stud, it needs to be three inches. Okay, we're gonna confirm. Yes. Now we should be able to go ahead and run it in. Once this number gets to zero, we know the stud is seated. It is now stopped at three. We know the stud is seated. Operation is complete.